Do you guys like my girl outfit? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My hair is doing something crazy. So I decided to finally film this video and I am just in my Mickey Mouse sweatshirt that I got from Disney World and super comfortable and ready to film this video. So this is my retail experience video. I'm going to be comparing the two retail stores that I worked at, talking about pay, application and interview, training, the pros and cons, and just an overview of working in retail in general. Um, I know retail is an easy place to get a job, um, especially for people in high school and college, and I know a lot of people apply to retail, and maybe someone wants to know if working retail would be a good fit for them, or if they should do it or not. So I have some experience in retail, so I can talk about it with you guys. Um, I do currently work at Victoria's Secret, so I'm not going to be able to say like everything I know about Victoria's Secret because I, you know, I'm entitled to them. I, I do work for them. Um, but the other retail store that I worked at was the Children's Place. And I'll just talk about both of those stores for a second before I jump into the video. So in case you don't know what they are, here we go. So the Children's Place is a store for children ages like... I'll say like zero, like newborn to like age, I think they go up to like a size 14 and like kid sizes. It's just, it's clothing, we have accessories, I don't, well, I don't know why I'm saying we have because I don't work there anymore. They have accessories, clothing, um, I think that's pretty much it, and just some like different like, like accessories, yeah. I was gonna say like sunglasses, they have like sunglasses, jewelry, socks, like just accessory kind of stuff. And then Victoria's Secret is a store that mainly is known for their bras and underwear and those type of things. Um, my store is a Victoria's Secret and a pink. And pink is just owned by Victoria's Secret too. And it sells clothing, bras and underwear. Um, Victoria's Secret has a sports section and they also sell um, beauty products. They sell makeup products. They sell perfume, mist, lotion, etc. So that is those stores. I'm sure all of you guys know what Victoria's Secret is, but maybe some of you didn't know what the children's place was, so I just want to let you, know, you guys know. Let you guys know. I can't talk. So, okay. First, we're going to talk about pay. So, at the children's place, it was my first job ever, and I worked there two years ago. I made $7.25, which is Virginia's minimum wage. Um, during the interview, she told me that was what I'd be making, and honestly, I just really needed a job, so I took it. Um, it's not a lot at all, considering that I was a part-time employee, and I probably worked no more than three days a week, and no more than probably, like, five hours in a shift. Um, like, some day, like, rarely I would work, like, a seven-hour shift, but that was, like, maybe once or twice the whole time I worked there. So, 725 is really not a lot of money at all. But yeah, that is what I made at the Children's Place. At Victoria's Secret, I make, right now, I... Oh, and my job titles at the Children's Place, I was a sales associate. And at Victoria's Secret, I am a seasonal sales associate. I think I was, I was also seasonal at the Children's Place, but I don't know if that was on my title or not. But um, seasonal pretty much means that you work there just for, like, a summer or just for, like, the winter. You know, it's like a season, like seasonal if you understand that. So I'm a seasonal sales associate at Victoria's Secret. So I pretty much just sell everything. I work at the register. I work with customers or is that what they're called? Customers? Yeah. Why did I like brain fart? Anyways. So anyways, I make $10 an hour at Victoria's Secret. Uh, also, I don't know how much the children's place pays other employees. I don't know how much Victoria's Secret pays other employees. These are just the salaries I made slash am making working in retail. So as you can tell, $10 obviously is way better than $7.25, but it's still not a lot of money. And retail just overall, what you can probably get from this is retail doesn't pay very well. So application and interview, um, I applied to, we're going to talk about the children's place first. I applied online, well I applied to a bunch of jobs online, but the children's place, um, I think they just asked like questions about myself, job, um, previous jobs, which I had none before the children's place. 
and your availability and stuff like that. So I ended up getting a call from the manager and she said to come in to do an interview. So I came in to do the interview and she didn't really interview me. She pretty much just asked if I could work there and I said yes. She told me I would get paid $7.25. I said okay and we put all my information uh, into the system because when you, when you work retail or a lot of other jobs, usually you have to fill out a W, I think it's a W-4 form, something like that. You also usually get direct deposit, so you're going to have to put your bank information in. Sometimes you have to get a drug test. Um, I had to get a drug test at one of the jobs I work at now. Um, so yeah, that is how that, like, that interview went. It was like not even an interview really, so I don't know. Um, for Victoria's Secret, I applied a while ago, I think, maybe back in April, and they called me in probably the end of May, almost June, and told me to come in for an interview. So I went in. I just want to say my manager ran like an hour over the limit, over like her last interview, so I was waiting there for maybe like 45 minutes. Um, it was kind of annoying, but that's fine. She actually ended up interviewing me and another person because she ran over time, so we kind of had like a joint interview, which was weird. She pretty much um, asked us about our availability. She didn't ask us any like formal questions like, what would you do if a customer did this? And like that kind of stuff, she didn't ask any of that. Um, she asked if we had any questions, pretty much told us like Victoria's Secrets, like, what's it called? Their like motto, like what they live by, their motto, I don't know what it's called like their goals and stuff like that, like what they stand for. So it was really, I mean, it was fine. It was an easy interview. She said that she, we would get a call or email if we got the job, but they did end up calling me and told me to come in. And yeah, that is how I got that job. Okay, so for training at the children's place, I really didn't have like formal training or anything. They pretty much just threw me into the job they taught me how to fold the clothes because they fold it a certain way. Um, they're very specific about how they fold their clothes at the children's place. They taught me how to use the register, but I pretty much learned as I went along, like as I came across like, oh, someone's doing a return. Like now I have to learn how to do a return on the register. Oh, someone has, wants to look something up on, wants me to look something up online or call another store to see if they have it. I have to learn how to do that. They didn't teach me all of it in the beginning. I kind of just learned as I went. And pretty much the first time I ever used to register was with a real customer, like face-to-face, -face, like I'm bringing her items up. So it was a little bit nerve-wracking and a little bit anxiety-provoking, but I got through it and I learned how to do it. So really no formal training at the children's place. For me, personally, this is my experience. At Victoria's Secret, um, I think I did maybe... No, I did like one day. I think I'm supposed to, I was supposed to do more, but they only had me do one day of training where I sat in the back and watched videos on an iPad and did quizzes and stuff like that. It was just sitting on an iPad for like four to five hours doing that kind of stuff. Um, and I didn't finish all the modules or anything like that. So I thought I was going to come in for like more training, but that was that. That was the first kind of training. And then I came in the next week for like three days and that was also like training where I kind of learned where everything was in the store. They had me like folding panties, um, which I still do and I hate so much, but I'll talk about that later. Um, and then they taught me how to do the register maybe like a month later. Like I didn't learn to do the register until like three weeks ago, I want to say. But it was nice because their registers have a training mode where you can just like learn what each button means, how to go through a transaction without having to use an actual customer. So that was really nice compared to the children's place where I had to actually like learn on a customer. At the Victoria's Secret I could learn how to do it without ha actually having to ring up a customer. So I got to practice a couple of times before I actually had to ring up an actual customer. So yeah, a little bit more training at Victoria's Secret, but I wouldn't say like the training was amazing or anything. Like I definitely learned more I feel like either, whether you get a lot of training or not, you learn as you go. You learn the more you work and the more you interact with customers. Wow, I really can't talk. The more you interact with customers, you just learn more. So yeah, training at both places wasn't that great. I don't know if that's just the companies I worked at or what. I have no idea. I feel like they didn't train me very much because I was only, I am only a seasonal associate. 
both places I was in am so I feel like they're like she's gonna be gone in three months so it doesn't matter if she's that well trained you know I feel like if I was a full time gonna be a full time or like a part time employee all year round they would have trained me more but yeah so the pros and cons at the children's place um honestly I like it wasn't a bad experience but I honestly hated working there. It wasn't, um, I had a great manager. She was awesome and very understanding of when, cause I, my anxiety was really bad two years ago. So I was working there and I really would get bad anxiety sometimes and she would totally understand. Um, and I would have like breakdowns sometimes and she would understand and she was very understanding and really a great manager. But other than that, like the pay wasn't good. I hate folding clothes. I hate doing go backs. And if you don't know what go backs are, So I hated doing those, I hated folding the clothes, and yeah, the only thing I somewhat enjoyed was the register, because I feel like it makes just time go by really fast. So yeah, not many pros at the children's place, I really just did not enjoy working there. It was a good learning experience, and it was my first job, and I appreciate so much that my manager um, hired me so that I could experience my first job. Yeah, the Victoria's Secret pros. I feel like I have a decent amount of pros for Victoria's Secret. Um, first one being I love the store. I love the clothes and the bras and the underwear. I frequently shop at Victoria's Secret and have since I was like in middle school. So I do enjoy the um, benefits. Also I forgot to mention you do get a discount. I feel like everywhere, every retail place you work you will get a discount. I got a discount at Children's Place but obviously I don't have any children or anyone to really buy for so it didn't really come in handy. At Victoria's Secret, my discount is 30% off because I'm a part-time employee, so um, that comes in handy. And also, I just love buying stuff at Victoria's Secret. We also get gratis, which is we will get a lot of stuff for like super cheap. Like I got this one t-shirt I showed you guys in my last Victoria's Secret haul. It was a $30 t-shirt from Pink. I got it for $5. Um, they were having like workout pants for $30 for the employees, um, stuff like that. So gratis is really cool. Um, Discount's cool, and I just love the store in general, so I would definitely say work somewhere that you personally like their clothing or you like their atmosphere because it makes working there a lot better. Another pro is I feel like everyone I encounter, like my coworkers, are super nice at Victoria's Secret, and I feel like I have made more friends at Victoria's Secret than I did at the Children's Place. Um, I don't know why that is. I think, I don't know, but I think everyone's super nice there. The register is super nice of Victoria not super nice but a lot nicer than the register at the children's place was and it might just be the locations like there might be super nice children's place registers where you live I don't know but the registers at the children's place were just very old school old fashioned like whatever and the registers at Victoria's Secret are like touch screen really easy to follow um just like super nice and I just enjoy using them a lot more than the registers at the children's place. Cons at Victoria's Secret, again, the normal retail stuff. So you're, you have to fold clothes, make the store look nice. You have to do go backs. Like that is just a part of your job. Like you don't have the choice. You have to interact with customers. So if you don't want to do that stuff, don't work in retail. That's kind of what I have to say about that. Another con like specifically about Victoria's Secret is my mall closes at 9.30, so the store closes at 9.30, but you have to stay as late as it takes to clean the whole store. So we definitely, like, do cleaning, like, while customers are in the store. Like, while the store is open, we'll clean here and there, whatever, but when everyone leaves, like, we have to make sure the store is, like, pristine, perfect. We have to make sure all the clothes are folded, all the panty tables are folded, which takes forever and is the worst job you could do. Like, that is the thing that I hate the most about working there. Um, we have to make sure the floor is clean, the dressing rooms are vacuumed, um, everything is swept, and the trash is taken out and stuff like that. So it's a lot to do. At the children's place, I always got out, like, no later than 10. Um, but at Victoria's Secret, I'm constantly getting out at, like, 11, 11.30, stuff like that. So that kind of sucks, but, um, it's part of working in retail. Overall, I don't like working in retail. I still don't like working in retail, even working at Victoria's Secret. It is a job. It doesn't pay too bad, the one I'm working at now. I wouldn't work at retail for a minimum wage ever again. It's not worth it, in my opinion. Um, and I just recommend working somewhere that you personally like to sh maybe like to shop or you enjoy the atmosphere there. 
um, somewhere where you can uh, benefit off the benefits, if that makes sense. Like, you can benefit off the discounts that you get or whatever. I mean, it's an easy job to get. Uh, retail, Working in retail, you don't need a lot of experience in anything. Um, yeah, so I hope this helped some of you guys if you are interested in working in retail. This video is really long, so I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to be doing a haul, a try-on haul, very soon, so look, look out for that. And also, I have another vlog coming. I think it'll be up, what's today? Thursday. This will be up Friday, and the vlog will be up Sunday. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will talk to you guys later. Make sure to follow me on social media, link down below. Give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe. I forgot to say all that, but I'll talk to you guys later.